good morning thank you we know this is a short notice we called you in and uh, too early we <laughs> So, so we are here today. Um, you know, we have um, you know our partners from BMS, Bristol Myers Squibb, um, here with us. Um, uh, so it's a new New York uh, uh, headquartered company, one of the top ten pharma companies. So they are now um, you know looking at an investment in Hyderabad, a fairly large uh, setup, a cutting edge setup. Um, so, so thank you for joining us. We will do an MOU signing, and then um, Honorable Minister will will give his remarks. Dr. Samit Hiravat, um, he is Executive Vice President um, and also part of the Governing um, uh, Committee. So, thank you, Samit, for joining us today. Um, so, we have Chris, who is their uh, Head of Government Affairs, joining us as well, and Francis, who heads uh, the Communications at BMS, joining. So, so thank you again. I'll let Honorable Minister give his remarks. Thank you and me uh, under ki namaskaram. I think it's too early for all of us, including me. I'm also half asleep, so kindly excuse us because you know we had I had to travel, so therefore we troubled you in the morning. Um, Bristol Myers Squibb is one of the largest, you know, one of the marquee pharmaceutical companies in the world. It's world renowned, and of course uh, in the U.S. it's a very very popular pharmaceutical company. It's one among the top ten uh, in in the globe, on the globe. Um, and I'm super thrilled, excited uh, to be welcoming Bristol Myers Squibb uh, to Hyderabad, to Telangana, because um, as I keep telling you wherever I run into you guys, that is, we are center, we are a hub for both technology and biology. That's exactly what they are combining. The abilities of uh, Hyderabad, Telangana, and India, uh, in terms of what we can offer um, on the IT front, that is information technology and biology, and how you know, uh, this can be leveraged by large global uh, pharma majors such as Bristol Myers. We, of course, um, you know, welcome them. And I can tell, uh, I can tell you guys, uh, Samit, uh, Chris, and uh, Francis, that uh, there's no dearth of talent. There's plenty of uh, amazingly talented youngsters in India um, who are experts in a number of fields, and including emerging technologies and all the cutting-edge uh, advancements in science and biology. Um, the second thing I also wanted to point out, besides, I know you're setting up an engineering and technology <coughs> development center, innovation center, but um, I would also want to point out that uh, we are in the process of setting up one of the largest pharma clusters in the world, as I was just mentioning to you. So we welcome you all uh, to also explore manufacturing opportunities, research and development opportunities, not uh, only, uh, I'm, a, I'm a bit greedy as you can tell. So. Um, Welcome you, firstly, uh, you know, with uh, with uh, you know a red carpet, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll hear more from Summit on what their plans are. But um, also, we sh uh, also welcome you to explore uh, the landscape here for possible manufacturing opportunities. So thank you. Any anything else uh, we'll address after Summit speaks. Welcome, Dr. Summit Hirawat, to say a few words, please. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you so much, and and good morning to you. Uh, while everybody else is half asleep, I'm half awake. <laughs> <coughs> because I, I, we have to work 24-hour clocks, right? So it's, it's a pleasure to be here, first of all. I'm honored that you've uh, spared time to uh, really organize this and, and the ability to come and speak to you as well as spend time with you to take our mission forward. Uh, thank you for mentioning the Bristol Myers Squibb, the presence and what we do. Our mission truly is to be able to develop and discover and then deliver innovative medicines we are a specialty biopharmaceutical company. We operate in the areas of oncology, hematology, that includes cell therapies, and of course cardiovascular medicine and immunology. And our vision is truly to be able to transform patients' lives through the science and innovation that we do. And as I was mentioning earlier to Minister Rao, that as we think about uh, our global presence, one of the missing pieces is to be in India where there's a burgeoning ecosystem from a healthcare perspective, as we think about the largeness, as well as we think about the amazing talent that is present in India. By the way, I grew up in India, so I know there is good talent here. And as we think about harnessing that talent and strengthening the overall healthcare system, this was the most appropriate place. Talking about Hyderabad, I've been here before, and what I've seen five years ago or four years ago versus what I see now, it's amazing what has happened to the landscape of Hyderabad 
It is so impressive. And so when we brought the team here in January, we, we went back and there was no question in our mind the place to be. So here we are, and thank you for everything that you have done and, and provided us the support to move at a lightning pace to already get to a place where we will be talking more about setting up our site uh, and initiating it by the middle of this year, looking at uh, getting people in the company uh, to grow uh, fast enough, hopefully that is, that is possible, because there's a huge amount of talent here to about 1,500 people over the next three years or so. So we're looking forward to working with, with all of you as well as uh, with people in Hyderabad and beyond to be able to bring that science and technology innovation uh, that will help our global drug development process as well as the IT processes that we have ongoing. So thank you once again and certainly happy to take on any questions later on? Any focus uh, areas for this particular center? So in general, what we are hoping is to be able to develop the capabilities in all areas of drug development, such as regulatory, such as biostatistics, such as uh, operations, such as clinical sciences. So all of those areas are covered. Uh, it's not like we are new to uh, India. BMS has a presence in India, but from a commercialization perspective, as well as through contracting with other, other companies. But our own presence from a drug development perspective that supports the global nature of drug development, we will be now doing it from India as well. So what kind of uh, professionals you will be looking at? Is it 1500 over the next three years? Right? Yeah, so it will be inclusive of a diverse uh, sets of, of talent pool, including in the IT space, as well as from a development side, as I had said earlier, it would be f uh, people in medical writing, people in regulatory processes, people statisticians, statistical programmers, operations, protocol managers, lots of them. Uh, and then, of course, uh, physicians who are going to be able to help in many of these processes. I'm a physician by training myself. I'm an oncologist. And I've grown through many of these processes myself. So will this support your research or this will uh, drive the research in your company? So, just to explain, there are two elements of drug development. One is called research and one is called development. The way we describe research is identification of targets and molecules and medicines and doing chemistry, right? So this is not part of that. This is part of actually doing clinical science, as in uh, doing clinical trials where it will, the site will be engaged in processes of those clinical trials. Look, as a company, we don't see patients directly. We work through hospitals. We actually do conduct clinical trials in India as well. And we will continue to look for opportunities to grow that process in India as well. We need to have hospitals that we will participate, that will uh, collaborate with us and participate in our clinical trials. We want to grow that element as well. So these people will be able to manage many of those clinical trial processes. So how do you call this innovation center or development center? This is science and technology innovation center is what we are uh, currently thinking of. We haven't given it a name per se. We think it's BMS Hyderabad. And it, it can actually evolve into many functions, not just development and IT, but this is where we are starting off with. Uh, have you already identified the location? Not yet. We are in the process of doing that so now. That would take about, uh, we are hopeful that we will have a, a physical location by the third quarter of this year, but certainly before the end of the year. Can you quantify the investment, please? It's about $100 million over the next... Uh, three years. I'll just switch to the vernacular for a bit. Uh, I'm, no, I'm going to say a lot of things which uh, you'll have to recheck again, double check again, by the way. Um, Bristol Myers Quibane Company, Prapanchal Lone, top 10 pharmaceutical company, Lokati. While Liroju, Hyderabad, Lo, Manatelangana, Lo, Oka one the million dollar le petto badi to padhihen vandala kotta upadya avakashal srishtistu oka center air part jay bota ona rikda. Dhan ki varki rudey purokanga doctor Samit Hirawat adevidanga Chris adevidanga Francis var ander ki gora Bristol mass equipment chochna. Brundan ki rudey purokanga swagatam. Neno monane me ander gora vignup cheshna tu Telangana loni jiva aushe darangam life science sector ede the ondo chala balanga ede guta ondi chala Brahmana ede guta ondi. I think we have $100 billion by 2028. Looks like we have to actually revise it because we are growing much faster than what we had anticipated and we'll discuss more with you 
ఇన్ ది డేస్ టు కమ్ రేపు రేపు నుంచి బయోఏషియా కూడా ప్రారంభమవుతోంది కాబట్టి బయోఏషియా ప్రారంభమవుతున్న ఈ సందర్భంలో ఇది మన రాష్ట్రంలోని యువతకి ముఖ్యంగా ఈ జీవ ఔషధ రంగంలో లైఫ్ సైన్స్ సెక్టర్లో ఉన్న యువతకి చాలా మంచి వార్త ఎందుకంటే ఇప్పుడు దాకా ఇండియాలో లేని ఒక కొత్త సంస్థ మన దగ్గరికి రావడం అది కూడా హైదరాబాద్ నుంచుకోవడం మరి ఇంత పెద్ద సెంటర్ని ఓపెన్ చేయబోతూ ఉండడం కాకపోతే నేను ఇందాక వాళ్ళకి చెప్పాను టిపికల్గా ఎవరు వచ్చినా మొట్ట మొదటి చెప్పేది వెయ్యి ఉద్యోగాలు పదిహేను వందలని కానీ జ జనరల్గా జరిగింది నేను గమనించింది ఏంటంటే చాలా వేగంగా అది దాటిపోతారు వాళ్ళు వెయ్యి రెండు వేలు అవుతుంది రెండు వేలు మూడు వేలు అవుతుంది దట్ ఈస్ వాట్ ఐ హ్ సీన్ ఆల్వేస్ ఐ ఐమ్ జస్ట్ సేయింగ్ టిపికలీ ఎవ్రీ ఆర్గనైజేషన్ దట్ కమ్స్ ఇన్ విత్ అ సర్టన్ నంబర్ ఇన్ మైండ్ టెన్స్ టు బీట్ దాట్ ఆర్ యూ నో కైండ్ ఆఫ్ క్రాస్ దాట్ వెరీ వెరీ క్విక్లీ ఈజ్ ఆల్ ఐమ్ సేయింగ్ so i'm hopeful that bms also will grow faster sooner than expected and like samit said uh, third quarter is what they are looking at but i'm very hopeful and i know chaala aasha bhavam tho unnanu that tondarlo idi prarambham avutundi center avalla leadership team andaru kuda vachi ikkada center prarambhotsanu kostara na aashisthunnanu dantho paatu hyderabad pharma city gurinchi kuda variki vivarinchanu variki mottham vishayam cheppi kottaga india lo oka unit pettalanukunte nijaniki పన్నెండు నుంచి పద్దెనిమిది నెలలు పడుతుంది ఎందుకంటే ఒక పబ్లిక్ హియరింగ్ అని ఒక గ్రీన్ ఫీల్డ్ యూనిట్ పెట్టాలనుకుంటే సమయం పడుతుంది కానీ హైదరాబాద్ ఫార్మాసిటీలో అట్లా కాకుండా దానికి ఒక ఎన్వైరన్మెంటల్ క్లియరెన్స్ ఆల్రెడీ పార్క్ మొత్తానికి ఉంది కాబట్టి డైరెక్ట్గా ఒక ల్యాండ్ అలాట్మెంట్ చేసుకుంటే వెంటనే ఆ టైం జాప్యం లేకుండా వెంటనే చేసుకోవచ్చు అని కూడా వారికి వివరించి చెప్పాను హైదరాబాద్లో ఉండే ఇతర అనుకూలతలు కూడా వారికి వివరించి చెప్పాను బహుశా భవిష్యత్తులో అది కూడా కన్సిడర్ చేస్తారని చెప్పి నేను కూడా ఆశిస్తూ ఉన్నాను ఎనీ అదర్ క్వశ్చన్స్ విల్ టేక్ అదర్ వైస్ ఎస్ the location is hyderabad we are very happy <laughs> no no i think we leave it to them see as long as they are in my state i'm happy i i, I don't really mind uh, which part of the state they actually go into so i'd be happy if they are in my state that's all i'd say and i'd be happy even if they do manufacturing in india rather not just telangana but anywhere in india for that matter yeah thanks